Hey everyone, so OnePlus 6T has already been launched worldwide. You have seen its unboxing and its reviews everywhere. Now the question that should come to your mind is, should you buy the OnePlus 6T or the OnePlus 6? So for everyone who's thinking of either upgrading from their OnePlus 6 or buying for the first time this OnePlus 6T, this video is for you. Keep watching guys and please do subscribe, like, comment, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. You know the drill and you know how it works. Now T versions have always been about refinement rather than overhaul. So no really big or a good reason to upgrade from 6 plus. Instead it's rather about having a cheaper alternative to the iPhone than X. First impression is that it's a nice, slick and a smooth fold. It has a steered drop shape notch which encompasses your front facing camera, RGB sensor, distance sensor, however there's no front LED light so no flash for your selfies. Now there is an option to hide the notch here. The midnight black version has a smooth black matte finish with one plus unique anti glare coat. Uh, it uses, it has Corridor Glass 6, which is the same as what was on the OnePlus 6. However, it still has no wireless charger. But the phone is convenient to hold and the buttons have a nice clicky feel to it. For right hand users, the alert slider is also on the right, but it's still a little bit stiff. Some new animations to display the status of the slider are available in this time. There is no IP rating to it, but I personally don't feel that a few drops of water sh uh, should harm. OnePlus 6T has the new bleeding edge technology that is the in-display fingerprint reader. The company has dubbed this technology as screen unlock, while other ways of unlocking such as face unlocking is still available. Now, this is the fastest way of in-display unlocking available in the market so far, compared to all other models that have been launched as yet. However, the review on this is that it's slow and does not always recognize. So for now, what I feel is that face unlocking up option is much better than the in-display fingerprint reader. This technology should improve in the future to provide us with a smoother and a faster experience. It has a 6.41 inch Opti AMOLED 180 by 2340 pixels screen. Uh, there is night mode and reading mode option available. The screen is really really bright and it's quite OnePlus 6T sadly does not have any stereo speakers. Now this is a major major disappointment because expectations were really high that stereo speakers would be a standard here. The 6 Plus T comes with 128 or 256 gigabyte storage options. However, there is no micro SD card for extra storage here. Now the OnePlus 6T has the same hardware as the OnePlus 6, primarily Snapdragon 845, coming in options of 6 GB or 8 GB RAM. The 6T comes with its own proprietary oxygen operating system with Android Pie on top. Now this operating system, it definitely beats the stock Android uh, option in my opinion. It's very very fluid and it's very smooth and it just gives a very nice UI experience. It also has a beta version of Smart Boost. Uh, this primarily stores your games and your app data and should speed up the uh, startup times of the apps. Battery life of one plus 60 has been uh, there's been a slight improvement to the one plus six now the one plus six had 33 mah while the 60 has 3500 mah so this definitely should give us more screen time the 60 comes with a rare dual camera setup 
with one camera being 16 megapixel and the other one 20 megapixel. Now the second camera has the same focal length as the main camera. These are some pictures that have been shot on uh, 60, OnePlus 60. Uh, they are definitely great in detail as well as in clarity and definitely uh, in my personal opinion uh, an improvement over the OnePlus 6 uh, pictures. Now whether they are worth the upgradation from 6 to 60 and that's for you to decide. The 60s front camera comes in a 16 megapixel form and while it does provide standard good clarity quality uh, with depth with your selfies and all remember that it does not have a LED flash so nighttime selfies will be a problem. Now coming back to our with main the high question, quality construction, should upgrade the from your OnePlus 6 and the to your OnePlus 60, on par where or than the hardware flash. in 60 and 6 remain the same. There are no stereo speakers in uh, the 60, there is no wireless charging in 60, there is no front LED light in 60 and even the much hyped built-in display uh, fingerprint reader it leaves a lot to be desired. It's slow and cumbersome and awkward at certain times. Yes, there is a slight improvement in the camera. We will grant it that. But in my opinion, if you already have a OnePlus 6, there's no need to go in for a OnePlus 60. There's no need to upgrade. However, if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to something like the iPhone XS, then yes, you can definitely go for it. Otherwise, wait for the new flagship phone from the OnePlus company and you can probably upgrade then. I hope this particular video was of some help to you. Did uh, it clarify some doubts? Some uh, I was able to shed some light on the features or something like that. So if you do like this video, please do subscribe. Please do give me a like. Thanks.